nanotechnological microbes, microscopic machines with the capacity to reproduce at a truly astonishing rate. Their origin is unknown, but they are man-made. The machine head virus is not indestructible. It can be destroyed. The evacuation of Montreal, Canada, earlier this year, and the subsequent Outbreak, a concern which must be shared by everyone on the planet. Now sports, Jerry. My name is Kimberly Stride, Dr. Kimberly Stride. I've been engaged in research at MIT into the cause and effects of nanotechnological infestation when the virus struck. My assistant, Orville McArdle, Orville the Geek, and I found refuge in the isolation bunker deep beneath the Institute and set about discovering the ways and means necessary to destroy the machine head virus. We had located the source of the virus and built a vehicle, flippantly called the Volpal Blade, to transport a nuclear bomb into the blighted heart of the machine head. But we had a problem. To bring the Vorpal Blade to its full operational capacity required a sophisticated artificial intelligence. In short, a brain to guide it along the torturous and highly dangerous route to its goal. I had decided to upgrade the Institute's CPU with encoded sequences from my own brain patterns and then implant this into the Vorpal Blaze operating system. But Orville had ideas of his own. I couldn't move and my head hurt like hell. The geek had found us a brain all right. Unfortunately, it was mine. I had no choice. The bomb was primed and the geek had his finger on the auto destroy. There was nothing else I could do but ride that baby into the heart of the geek. Thank <laughs> you. 